Hey, hey, Blue Table fans! Today we're going to be taking a look at orcs and how to build a starting, mid-level, advanced, and mega army. Hopefully all on one video this time. Orcs are one of the most characterful armies of the 40k universe. I'm not going to talk a lot about their background, but uh, they are, they're a lot of fun to play. They can definitely be a force to be reckoned with. Many of you know that my favorite army is Eldar, and my nemesis plays orcs. And that's not just nowadays, but it also is uh, from the beginning of my 40k journey. I uh, had a friend who uh, played orcs. I played Eldar, and... Uh, this this was back in 97 or 98. And, uh, yeah. Alright, hey, uh, let's keep going. So, first off, in our Orc Army, we'll go to the Games Workshop site, and we'll select Orcs. And it looks like there are 78 entries. At least 60 of them are models. So, we've really got our pick of the litter. There's only a few duds in here. Most of them are absolutely gorgeous uh, models. Uh, looks like I already have some things in my cart um, for $82. Let's, uh, let's go see what's in there. So first off, you're going to need... Okay, I have a War Biker mob. So first off, you're going to need an Orc book. And it's $41 for a softback. Uh, personally, I would zip right on over to eBay, and for the same price, I would get a used hardback um, Hardback. Now, also, there is a, a Wog Goskull. That's a specialty book. I don't know much about it, but uh, you should definitely know that it exists. All right, uh, let's keep going. So, I would start with a Start Collecting Orcs collection. I wish this would not do this thing here and actually show you a big picture. But anyway, this has a pain boy, you have five knobs, 11 boys, and a deaf dread. And I gotta tell you, that is an absolutely sweet deal. In fact, it might not be too bad to pick up two of these, but since we're just getting started, we're just gonna pick up one. And Orc War Boss. Now, this guy is really not that impressive of a sculpt. But you do need a war boss. We're going to add one to the cart. And, uh, but I do need to point out that if, again, let's go to eBay. There was this uh, starter kit that was Orcs versus Space Marines many years ago. In fact, it was when uh, BTP was in the Badger Hole in 2008. And it's called Assault on Blackreach. And right now, if you can even find one, they're going for 150 bucks. At, but they're they're well worth it for all the models that you get in them. You get a war boss, twenty boys, five knobs, th and three def coptas, and that is that is really a pretty good deal. And then you get all the space marines on top of it. So to buy all this stuff individually is probably uh, fifty five. It's right around. It's going to run right around a hundred dollars. So and then you get all the space marines in addition to that. But anyway, we're, we're just going to add a war boss. I would add a unit of kill cans or a death dread. But since we don't need a second one, let's just get some kill cans in our cart here. And uh, now if you're going to collect orcs... Hold on. Give me a big picture here, guys. Come on. Uh, it's just doing this thing. Okay, so anyway... Orcs are really easy to paint, but they are not the cheapest army by any means because they have a very high model count. Your average Orc boy right now is, is uh, six points, I do believe. And that means if you have some mobs, you're going to need at least 60 boys to get started. And that means a lot of painting and, of course, um, you know, the, the time investment and, of course, the money investment. Okay, so we're going to get a couple of trucks. So let's go ahead and get two trucks. So some of our boys will be on foot, and some of them will be uh, will be riding in the trucks. Email me. Oh, the mech is out of stock. All right, so we can't get that. That's fine. And let's go ahead. Uh, war bikers. I already got three. That is a very small mob of war bikers. 
it's really not that great but they're fantastic models and they can definitely be some troubleshooters and they're really cheap I think they're 17 points each so for right around 50 points you can have these guys just running around making a problem of themselves so I I would recommend for a very beginning player to grab those oh and a mech it's for some reason I have the mech going and for some reason I don't have boy oh because I was doing the uh, collect orc so let's grab some boys here and for your boys I do believe let's see you get yeah you get wait 11 2 4 6 8 10 yeah 11 that's a weird number to be in a kit yep 11 boys and a knob that goes in there personally I would actually not use these boy no I I'd use proper knobs from the knob kit to lead my boys but it's uh, it's got a lot of cool parts and like I said we're gonna need 60 boys we've already got 11 uh, so well let's see 55 so that would be uh, four kits let's go ahead and just get five kits and that's gonna be a pretty pretty a large part of our investment here is just those so let's go ahead and check out so this is for a basic orc army and uh, so and if you got an assault on black reach you'd only need two sets of those just the orc side to get your 40 boys plus start collecting orcs and you're looking you're looking pretty good on boys I would say 50 to 60 boys is where you need to start so it's 453 dollars that includes our book not the rule book though uh, and we've got a war biker mob, start collecting orcs, which includes uh, some boys, our knobs, a pain boy, and, uh, and of course a death dread, which is a nice centerpiece model to start out with. You've got our orc war boss with big chop up. Again, personally, I would uh, zip right on over to eBay or Barter Town or some secondary market and grab the war boss from Assault on Blackreach. This is really really a great model and if you just modify them a little bit you'll have something something unique there and uh, so kill a cans two trucks and 55 boys and you're looking you're looking really good 453 you could probably pare that down to uh, just under 400 if you needed to or if you boosted it up uh, here's what I would do to amplify this just a little bit I would uh, drop a unit of boys this will refresh and I would get two start collecting orcs that is that is not bad and uh, I would also get a battle wagon so let's go ahead and open that in new tab def roll a battle wagon and this is this is the way to go by the way the def rolla looks cool does a cool thing in the game and the battle wagon you'll be able to put all your knobs in this bad boy and it's it can be run open topped so that means you can just charge right on out of there with all of those knobs now one build that i used to do and i've seen played successfully is you get uh there's some you know what I think that was the old rule book the old rule book made knobs troops choices if you can somehow make your knobs into troops choices you can make an all knob army and just have battle wagons and it's uh, it's a lot of fun so guys here's a starting army now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and go through every unit option now Oh, look at that I have that already prepped haha -ha, I'm getting organized and uh, let's go ahead and refresh this page see if my cart refreshes yes my cart did refresh and um, so again let's go take let's go take a look at my cart oh we're already at my cart fantastic and so this is this is what I have I don't know how many points it is it feels like about a thousand at, but again just your boys getting the 60 boys if you put knobs and stuff in there is going to be between 400 and 500 points just for your boys and but you're getting like huge like you're covering the board with these guys and so let's uh, let's get going on on our advanced slash larger army so uh, let's see here first off let's add some Gretchen 
Uh, Gretchen are good for holding objectives. I'm just going to put in one unit. Um, Mad Dog Grotznik, we don't need that at this... Well, an advanced army. Yeah, we... Oh, email me. All right, so we can't add this guy. The model's really not that great. For, for a sense of completeness, you do want to get that guy. Orc War Boss, again, he's not... It's not that impressive of a model, but you do want to include him for the sake of completeness. A mech, you definitely want to get some mechs, guys. They're great, but you can convert them from other, from other things. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Zag Struck. This guy makes a great knob for your Storm Boys, which we are going to get. We're going to grab a Weird Boy for... Oh, no, that's out of stock, too. Look at that. This isn't great. Captain Badruck, we'll need him for completeness. Uh, Orc Boss Snickerot. By the way, this guy's really cool. I, I don't know if he's in the new book. That's how much I know, but let's go ahead and just grab him. Why not? Knob with Wog Banner. This is a must. It's a great kit. If you wanted, because this guy comes with what looks like a power claw. This won't even go bigger. That's really not awesome. Okay, so anyway, it's got what looks like a power claw. One conversion you could do is cut the tip of the banner off and then just put some kind of weapon up there. And then you could do both. You could run him with a big choppa or a power claw, and he would be what you see is what you get. But again, this is out of stock. So, oh, Games Workshop, come on. Keep your stuff in stock. Seriously. Storm Boys, we are going to get a big old mob of... 15 Storm Boys. You put Zagstruck in there either as his own special character or uh, or a uh, the knob that goes in these guys. Come on, give me big pictures here. All right, well, that didn't work. Ludas, oh my gosh, we definitely need, we're going to get 20 Ludas for our much larger army. These guys are great. They are an absolute auto-include for an orc army. They look great. By the way, just something that you should know with your Ludas is painting time. It's going to take the time to paint the guy, and then an equal amount of time, if not more, just to paint the gun. I count these guys as two orcs for the purpose of, of painting. $25 for five of them, pretty good deal, I would say. So I think we've already added those to our cart. In fact, I'm just going to refresh my card on this other page, make sure that my Ludas are on there. And they are four boxes of Ludas for a total of 20 Ludas. Burna Boys, uh, by the way, it's the same kit for Ludas and Burnas. Uh, Burna Boys, if you put them on a battle wagon or in a truck, they can be an absolute nightmare and, because they have Ignore's covers, they can... They, they have Ignore's cover from their Flamer weapons, and that's what these guys are. So I'm going to get two of those for my advanced army. Uh, knobs, I've already got plenty of knobs, but they do come in their own kit here. And a Pain Boy. Now, remember, we got this guy twice in our two starting to collect orcs things, so we probably don't need another Pain Boy. But actually, we will, and here's why because we're going to need to put the, him in different units. We're also going to convert him onto a bike. And in fact, when we get to our bikes... Okay, uh, we're going to order enough to do the conversions. This is a sad model that's been around for like 10 years. I don't know why they haven't got rid of it. It's pathetic in every way. I would just not include it just on principle. Uh, there are other companies making better versions of this, which we'll see. We're actually going to head on over to uh, Cromlech and take a look at their stuff, too. A cannon. This is, again, the old pathetic sculpt. And so we're. I just wanted to show you that. The war buggy is the same thing as the war track. The model is old. I mean, I was putting this together in 99. It's 15 years old, if not more. And so it confuses me. So, and if you really want to make these, just get some trucks and convert them out of trucks. This is the old Def Copta. Don't get that. Get the new plastic ones. But I did want to show it to you so you could at least see it. Big Mech with Shock Attack Gun. You're going to add it for fun. It's a great new sculpt. They've done... Oh, there we go. Jeez. Awesome. Okay. So it's a very characterful model. This guy sucks in grots hurls them through the warp, and they materialize inside of their foes, inside their armor, inside of tanks. 
and uh, the model is absolutely a lot of fun. I, they have, it's a plastic version. You can see like a little bulge here where a grot's getting sucked into it. And like a lot of things in 40K, when you think about it, it's pretty horrific. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, a truck. For advanced army, in order to make conversions and uh, have a lot of trucks on the board, they're very cheap. They're, I think there's like 30 points for your basic truck. We're going to order four more trucks for our advanced army. And, whoa, that is a lot. Firefox tabs are not always easy to manage. Okay, Gazkal Thraka. This model actually isn't very big. It used to be cool. It's super old. It's like over 15 years old. I would actually just convert something out of a different, a different range. And okay, commandos. We're gonna get 10 commandos. Why not? That's for our advanced army. So these are like scouts. Tank busters, same thing. They actually they play very well, but it's not something you want a lot of. Okay, now here we go. This thing, this mech guns kit, makes all four different versions of the heavy artillery that orcs have. And it's a fantastic, fantastic plastic kit. It's got so much to it. We're loading the 360 now. Look at, look at what this has on it. Little clamps that come down in the back. You've got like a readout. Here's a crewman. And it comes with all these grot crew, which by the way can be scavenged off and put into, put into other types of units. And you can put them in vehicles. There's just, there's so much potential here for conversion work and extras. I got, and you can easily do conversions with these guys. Like you just give them different hands and stuff like that. And I gotta tell you, this is this is one of my favorite kits by Games Workshop overall. And it does clock in at $46. So for our advanced army, we're gonna get six of these. And that'll make two units of three or one unit of six. Uh, my arch nemesis Rich, he's always done um, what is it? He's done five lobas, and they are a pain every time. I rarely get around to killing them. We're gonna boost our killer cans. To remember, we have three already. We're going to go ahead and just get one more unit and make one big old stompy unit of six. Uh, Death Dread, we already have two of those, so we don't need more for our advanced army. Well, let's just get one more. Why not? Big Mech and Mega Armor. Now, this just cut. This is just something you can make out of this uh, Mega Armor kit. So we're going to get six of these guys. Two boxes of three. And then we're going, we're still going. Daka Jet, we're going to need, uh, let's make, for our advanced army, we'll do two of those. Wazbomb Blast Jet, this is new. I don't know what it does. All I know is it looks cool. And I think, I think we need, I think we need to have one. This is supposed to be the 360. It's loading. Looking good. Making me happy. And... Whoops. You can't see it, but I'm really managing my tabs up top. Oh, look at that. It has some sort of electrical thing on it. So that looks cool. This is, this is pretty much a must-have. So let's add one of those. Uh, Burn Obama. That, I think, I'm pretty sure that's out of the same kit as the other flyer. Oh, we're going to need a couple battle wagons. Let's get some battle wagons in there. Morkanaut, Advanced Army. Definitely going to have to have one of those. We're gonna get one unit of flash gets. Now these guys, they're great in the game. They look cool. They finally did these guys justice. And check out this, this um, targeting squig up here with like the little uh, eyeball that uh, you know has a targeting thing in it. So these models are great. They take a ton of time to paint. Uh, I would count these guys as like three or four infantry, because look at that, just, I mean, just his banner. It takes time and attention. They're ex extremely complicated. They come on 40 millimeter bases. There's a ton, there's a ton of stuff to them. And uh, I hope I added these already. We're going to go ahead and get two. Now we're going to boost up our Warbiker mob to 12. 
So, well, let's make it 15. So we're going to get four more kits of war bikers. Uh, we, we already got two of these guys. We've already got more battle wagons. Uh, we got our mega knobs in the other kit, as you may recall. Uh, and this is a new plastic kit. It's absolutely fantastic. The old mega knobs were just really pretty, pretty sad, but these guys look amazing. They are dead hard. And uh, I, I really love this model. You can see his skin through it. So it retains sort of that orky flavor, like they're just layering technology on top of themselves. And orcs. Lots of great models in here, guys. A Stompa. So we're we're gonna we're not gonna do a Stompa just yet. And we are, I still have entries here. Remember, we have 60. Oh, orc boys. Okay, we're good. We're good for our GW Advanced Army. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our checkout page and see where we are. I'll just refresh this. And we are at $2,500 for an advanced orc army. Well, I warned you, uh, we're probably around 3,000 to 4,000 points. Uh, we've got a ton of stuff. How come I only have two trucks on here? I could have swore I added trucks. All right, that's going to boost it up even more because we want to go to six trucks. There she blows. Okay. Oh, wow, that's weird. My war biker. Oh, did does it show as a separate entry in the bottom? I wonder what's going on there. Nope, 54 items. Well, anyway, you guys get the idea. That's that's what that's what an advanced army looks like. And so let's go ahead and have some fun and just crank it up. Get whatever we want. Sky's the limit. Money is no object. So for the mega army, we're gonna need we're gonna need I'm gonna say 60 Gretchen. So let's add five more of those. We've already got Zagstruck, Snickerot. We've got all the special characters. Uh, we're going to boost our Ludas up to, uh, I'm going to say, 40 Ludas. So we're going to need six more of those. We're going to need uh, four more Burnas. So an Omega Army, this is something where you would take this to, like, a massive apocalypse event. Uh, I mean, this is like beyond what you would need to reasonably just switch things, switch things out. Like people's eyeballs. We're going to add uh, 30 knobs. Pain Boys, it's the same sculpt over and over again, so we're going to stay slick with our Pain Boys. Um, trucks. Come, <laughs> come on, Firefox. Don't make it so difficult to... All right, we're going to add six trucks for a total of 10. And uh, here we go, tank bustas. We're gonna boost that up to, to uh, four more boxes of tank bustas. Again, these guys are specialists. So even in a much larger army, you're not going to, uh, I mean, you're not gonna need that many. So for these guys, you're gonna want, uh, let's go ahead and add 10 of those. Kill a cans. We're gonna need whole mobs of kill a cans. Uh, I'm gonna say 18 kill a cans. So that's six boxes. Let's add those. I notice there's no death coptas on here, and I don't know what the deal is. I don't know how to get them. Maybe I'm just missing it. We'll get six death dreads, and then of course we'll just boost up our mega armor guys by three more boxes. And uh, we're going to need whole formations of jets. So let's go ahead and boost this up to six. You can magnetize, though. We'll get three of these guys. The Waz Bomb. Burna Bama. Battle Wagons. Going to get four more Battle Wagons. Morkanauts. Now, before we just got one or two. But since we're going to have much bigger things in there and here, and these guys are just sort of accompaniment, we need like squads of them. So we're going to get six. And remember, these guys are transports as well. So we'll be able to put whole segments of the army in transports. Flash gets, we'll boost that up by four more boxes. Now, war biker mobs, it so many. You would need, I think. I'm going to say 50 war bikers 
and uh, Gorkonaut, we've already covered that. Same thing with the Defrola Battle Wagon. We're kind of looking at the same thing again. Now we're going to, now, oh, are these old? No, those are the new ones. Okay, now we're going to get a Stompa. Stompa is a big centerpiece model. We're going to get two just because we can. And Orc Boys, we're going to need so many, there's probably not even enough on there. I would say at least 180 Orc Boys. And that'll be, that'll make a nice little green tide. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and check out. And we are now, after doing all that ridiculousness for our Mega Army, we're now at $7,400 just for the kids. Now, uh, let's take a break before we head on over to Forge World. Uh, at BTP, I have these wonderful spreadsheets. And uh, you, what you do is you just have, it just goes down for all the things. And you just put in your quantities, so like five orc knobs, uh, knob with mega banner. And then if let's go down to orc boys, put 55. This is like beginning army stuff. And as you'll see, it auto calculates up how much it would cost to have them painted, how much it would cost to have them assembled. From what I've heard, I'm not paying that much attention to what other people are doing. But from what I've heard, uh, $10 a model for tabletop painting of figures is... Uh, roughly industry standard. I've heard both. I've heard it's low. I've heard it's high. And it, I guess it just it depends on uh, where you go. So, and then of course assembly is going to cost less than half of that. Uh, but assembling models does take time, believe it or not. It's actually a thing, you know, to really clean them properly and texture the base. Uh, basing, incidentally, is included in our painting cost. We offer uh, about a half dozen different styles of basic basing. We offer specialty basing. And, of course, you can have resin bases as well, which are produced by third parties. So anyway, so for BTP, you just uh, contact me at projects at bluetablepainting.com. Send me a list of what you might want to have done. I fill this out. I'm so good at filling these out now. It's really no problem. Uh, but you can also just say, hey, send me the spreadsheet. I want to play with it. And at the bottom, of course, it will give you totals for, us, for models, assembly, painting, grand total. And for larger armies, I typically, not always, but usually offer some kind of bulk discount if you're doing a lot of models. And also if we can have artistic license on how to paint the army because we'll do something that the artist is interested in or is a simple but effective uh, painting scheme. So anyway, I have these spreadsheets. You can get them on request. And uh, they're absolutely fantastic for setting up your, setting up your army. All right, guys, let's go back to our... So that's our mega army. Let's uh, have some fun now and head on over to Forge World Unstuff. Here we go. Ta-da! All right, so we're still we're making our mega army. So we're going to have to add a squigoth just because because there can't be a model that we don't have. We uh, hold on. Oh. I really need to sign in. I'm going to take that off screen. Sign in register. Come on now. And we are signed in. Warhammer 40k. Let's do this. All right. Waiting for this to load. We're going to need orcs. Wow, this is going on a half hour. we got to wrap this up. And uh, wog bikers. That's weird. Let's go ahead and just grab those. That's pretty cool. That'll give us some variation in there. Orc Stompa with heads and arms. Okay, let's grab one of those. Kill Bursta, Kill Blasta tank. That's really cool. Oh my gosh, look at how cool this looks. Oh, that's neat. That is really neat. Okay, we we're I think we're gonna need we're gonna need like two of those. Uh, Orc Squigoth. We'll need a couple of those. Mega tank, Grot mega tank. Oh, Chinork Warcopter. That's a takeoff on, of course, the Chinook helicopter. Uh, why am I not showing all options per page? You should always do that. I don't know why it's not default. Okay, that's cool. All right, hold on. Why is it still only showing me that many results? Let's refresh this. 
All right, 64 things per page. Be good to me. All right, well, it's making me, it's making me go by page now, so let's go ahead and keep going. Oh, there's so many orc things. Knob, war bikes, um, big check. You know what, I'm gonna make this a separate video because there really is so much to it. I feel like I have another half hour to go. But I do wanna make a shout out to Cromlech. Um, and because this guy has so many orc accessories and cool things for orcs and a lot of these pages start that it's it's somebody who wants to you know they're they're a hobbyist and they're like hey i'm just going to sculpt my own cool things and cast them and um <laughs> this guy just has so many cool alternate sculpts and a lot of like world war one feeling things to it and um, yeah I definitely if you're making an orc advanced or mega army well or whatever just head on over to Cromlech take a look at what he has to offer uh, he's over in the EU I don't know exactly which country I've dealt with them before just trying to set up like a a whatever it is army Oh, not an army, an account, a wholesale account. And I got to tell you, they were really, really, really nice, really easy to work with, super responsive. And I can't say as much for myself because I really had a lot of things going on at the time I was working with them. Here's something that could stand in very nicely for an Aegis defense line for orcs. And a lot to it. It's got like this little uh, quad gun, anti-air gun here. And there's a lot of cool stuff, like, the, and the quality, guys, the quality is definitely there with this company. Like, uh, look at this Juggernaut Mecha Armor. That is just really cool. And you could definitely spend a fortune. And for those of you following my, uh, my series of how to build an army and going on this giant shopping spree, You'll notice the orcs came in notably higher in terms of cost than any other army. And that's just it. There's just so many orcs. And, but the other part of that is you're so spoiled for choice. There's so many really, really, really super, super, super cool models. Like really great sculpts. Oh yeah, this is ridiculously cool. Yeah, I, I love this guy. He is, pre he is really... He has really improved the world with his imagination and, uh, and reliability, too. There's something to be said for somebody that sticks around and actually produces year after year uh, their art. And I, I, really, I really hope he's doing well. I hope that, uh, that his art has come back to him in a wonderful way. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And if you want to set up an army, now's a great time. I'm offering the best deal ever. And uh, I, I'm just sitting next to my computer answering uh, inquiry emails almost instantaneously. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. And I will see you tomorrow. One, two, three.